all together just like they ought to. He gave us life, so you better live a lot of that. It's how much God loves you. God loves you like ice cream does sprinkles from the baby in the crib to the granny with wrinkles. A smile on your face so he knows that wrinkles. That is how much God loves you. God loves you. He wants to heal your heart, so he's asking you to mess up. That is how much God loves you. God loves you like a fish loves water. He loves you even more than your mother or your father. Even if you're strange or a little bit odder. That is how much God loves you. God loves you. and in our minds. Here's a Bible verse that I learned when I was a kid. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. You can say it with me if you want. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. That's one verse, and there's uh, thousands of others that you can decide that you're going to learn and put to memory, and um, it can be useful as you walk this road of faith. You know this, my life, you were mighty to save. You changed my direction, you led all the way. You are my God, my refuge and strength. I trust that you. Will deliver this day when I am in trouble and I'm sinking low. When I am afraid, you help me to know. Say 
pray, Lord, we thank you so much for loving us and for rescuing us and for taking our lives and making them yours. Help us to know that you are God and that you are in control. And Lord, that we can hide your word in our heart, that we can give you our lives and our worship and our praise. And thank you for each one listening today. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. Do you ever talk to God? Of course we talk to God in prayer, don't we? Well, I want to talk to you about prayer. Prayer is a conversation with God. Just like you have a conversation with your friends, you can have a conversation with God. We can talk to God about anything, anytime. I want to teach you of a way that will help you remember your prayers. Put your hands together in prayer and we will learn and pray together. Now your thumbs are the ones nearest you, so begin your prayers by praying for those closest to you, the people you love, your family and friends. The index fingers, well, they're the pointers. So pray for those who point the way or teach, your church teachers, your teachers at school, the ministers, all the people who teach you. Now the next finger is the tallest finger, and it reminds us to pray for our leaders. The big people in the world need our prayer too. Ask God to give wisdom to the leaders of the world, our country, to the military, the police, and the leaders of our communities. Now the fourth finger is the ring finger. And that's the weakest finger. Did you know it's the only finger that can't stand up on its own? It needs help. We should remember to pray for those who need help, for the sick and the poor and those who are hurting, that God will give them what they need. And the last finger is our little finger, the smallest finger. It reminds us of how small we are compared to how big God is. Talk to God and tell him what you are thinking and feeling and tell him what you need and ask him to help you as you grow and learn. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that we can come to you and have a conversation with you. Be with those we love and keep them safe. Help those that teach as they share their knowledge and their love of Jesus. Be with the leaders of our world, our nation, and our communities. Give them wisdom. Bless those who are sick, poor, and hurting. And Lord, be with us always as we grow in wisdom and in our love for you. In Jesus' name, amen. One last fun song here before we go. Love to walk with you. Follow Ruby for the motions. Here we go. I love to walk with you, talk with you, to hear from you. I love to worship you because you are my God. I love to live my life and fill me with the brightest light. You are majesty and you are my king. And oh, in a world where things seem really tough, I look to you and I know you are enough. I love to walk with you, to talk with you, to hear from you. Thanks for being with us today.